Okay, we talk about CNS depressants a lot on this podcast, and why do you think we do that? There's a couple of reasons. First of all, they're used extensively in the hospital for pain control, and second of all, the NCLEX really wants to know if you're going to be a safe nurse, and there's some very important considerations when you're giving a patient opiates that you really you just have to keep in mind, not just for the NCLEX, but for your life as a nurse, okay? So today we're going to talk about codeine, trade name Peverol, okay? You're going to hear it as codeine. That's what people call it. That's what it's commonly known as given for management of pain, also given for diarrhea and cough suppressant, okay? A lot of times what you're going to see it given for is pain, but one thing that, that uh, Tess would like to trip, trick you up on is you need to understand it, it's also given for a cough suppressant, and so that's kind of a side effect. That's also something you kind of need to keep in mind as you're giving this medication. How does it work? Like other opioid agonists, it works by binding to opiate receptors in the CNS and altering perception of pain while producing a general depression of the CNS, okay? And this general depression of the CNS can also cause a decrease in the cough reflex and GI motility, okay? So that's kind of how it's going to work. That's why it's going to cause those other effects as well. So therapeutic class, allergy, cold, cough remedy, antitussive, and opioid analgesic. Again, big ones to keep in mind, opioid analgesic, antitussive, and then allergy, cold, cough remedy. Pharmacologic class is opioid agonist. Like I said, big things to keep in mind here. You're going to absolutely just have to keep in mind that you have to assess blood pressure, pulse, and respiratory rate prior to administration and frequently during administration. It's very common for these patients to, and especially if it's your first time to give a, 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 one of these medications to a patient, you just have to know what's going to happen, okay? If you don't know how this patient reacts to this medication, you need to be there, you need to be close, you need to be monitoring this patient to make sure that they don't have an adverse effect. For example... Uh, we have had patients that we've given, and, and this is, I'm not talking coding here, but like we've given a first dose Ativan to, never given it to them before. A couple seconds later, their respiratory rates bottomed out, their heart rates bottoming out, and we have to get them, we have to get them in the ICU really quickly and, and kind of monitor them more closely, get them back to a stable condition. Now, let's talk opioid agonists. What are we going to give them if this does happen, okay? For your opiates, what are you giving to reverse, uh, what's the antidote, okay? What are you giving? You should be thinking Narcan or Naloxone. That's the name of it. This is the antidote for, for opioid agonists. Okay, a couple other things to keep in mind. This may cause alterations in mentation. Again, we talked about hypotension. It can cause constipation. Remember, we're giving it. Uh, if we're giving it for pain, remember, it can slow GI motility as well, so it can cause constipation. We're going to use extreme caution in patients receiving MAOIs, uh, these monoamine oxidase inhibitors. And then, again, really just monitor your your respirations, your cardiovascular status and everything as you're giving these these medications to these patients. That is codeine. It has a lot of the same kind of things, nursing considerations you need to keep in mind with all of your opiates, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG. To keep the learning going, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST. MedMaster Course is the ultimate guide to nursing pharmacology with over 30 hours of video and audio lecture material. Never guess a med again, crush the NCLEX, and have confidence in your nursing pharmacology skills. Head over to medmastercourse.com, use the coupon code PODCAST. We'll see you on the inside.